Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to start this blacksmith hammer project in Maya. So we are going to create a base mesh for this model in Maya, then export it to ZBrush for some detailing and sculpting. And then we will move on to Substance Painter for texturing. So we are going to start with setting up our project. So we have to go to File and uh, in the project window, I'm going to name our project blacksmith hammer and then click on accept and let's save this file so we'll start by creating a base mesh let's take a cube to create the hammer head Increase the width a little height and depth. So I'm going to keep the height and depth same 1.35 and keep my width to 3.1. Now go to edge mode and uh, select all these edges, then bevel. And down the flexion and increase uh, one segment like this perhaps a little scaling in the y-axis like this now go to edge mode select this edge then press ctrl right click go to edging utilities and uh, split then bevel Decrease the fraction and again select this edge then split it again and now select this one and split. Now we will have these four segments here. So let's select them. Press Ctrl E and increase the offset like this. Go to edit mesh and select the secularize. It's going to convert all these faces into a circular form like this to fix the rotation of these edges just increase this twist value like this now select this edge then split and we are going to go in the face mode and delete half of this hammer and now we are going to select these faces and delete select edges and uh, scale them down just a little bit and something like this now go to front view press ctrl d and create a duplicate rotate it like this and now we can select both of them and uh, combine Go to vertex mode, select these vertices and uh, merge. Now you can remove this edge. Now select this edge ring and this one. Then bridge like this. Go to edge mode again and select these two edges. Bevel. Decrease the fraction and uh, add one segment like this now we need to create a handle for this hammer so take a new cylinder and uh, decrease its radius go to top view keep the radius 0 0.3 and uh, let's decrease the subdivision axis like this and scale it go to front view and uh, place it here like this go to vertex mode select these vertices pull them down Now take insert edge loop tool, add one edge here, 
one here. Go to vertex mode and in the front view, select these vertices and scale like this. And uh, these ones a little like this. Go to front view again and uh, select this handle. Go to insert edge loop tool. Add a couple of edges here like this. And let's just tweak. Scale them. Like this. Now go to edge mode and uh, select these edges. Go to bevel, add a fraction like this. Now select this edge and bevel again. Add one segment, decrease the fraction to something like this. And uh, here let's select this edge and again bevel add a segment and repeat the same thing with this edge decrease the fraction and add one segment so the base mesh looks good uh, maybe we can scale it a little bit like this Now select it and uh, disable the smooth preview and we are going to remove uh, some of these edges to convert these faces into code polygons. So select the alternate edge and delete. And repeat same thing here. Select the alternate edges and then delete. Now what we can do is we can just smooth it like this. and uh, we can select everything go to edit delete by type history go to file and click on export selection and uh, export as fpx or obj i'm going to export as obj hammer underscore base mesh and then export selection so we have exported our base mesh from Maya and we are going to import it in ZBrush to sculpt. So that's it for this part and in the next video we are going to add some detailing and sculpt this model in ZBrush. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.